Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Eden Zero episode number 24 and this is the penultimate episode I think. Uh, the next episode will be the final episode. Okay, before I start, uh, first things first, um, this is the first video that I'm making after my channel reached 1k subscribers. Thank you each and every one of you. I'll definitely make a separate video on it but still like you know like this since this is the first video that I'm uh, like shooting after uh, it reached 1k subscribers I thought I would mention it I'll make a separate video on like you know this and I have a few things to talk about as well that's for another video but for now uh, for this moment uh, thank you everyone a lot all the people that are watching my channel and I never thought I would reach 1k so soon I thought it would take me probably like three or four years to actually reach 1k I got it within one year so this is what can i say like kind of unexpected at least like you know so <laughs> yeah i'm quite happy and i'm not quite i'm very happy <laughs> so yeah anyways um i'll like keep all the talk like you know my conversation and everything that i want to talk about on a separate video i'll make you know uh, a separate video on this and uh, i'll we'll talk about uh, i'll talk about the things that i want to say in that video but for obviously this is uh eden zero episode 24 reaction so let's start with that now um another thing is um oh uh, okay so the previous episode episode number 24 uh, 23 uh we had um what was his name uh arsenal yeah arsenal um we had a new not new character but a new um, you know battle suit you can say uh, that wise and hermit has developed arsenal and it it is pretty strong but it kind of runs out of juice a little quicker so that's one problem but it's like uh you know like <laughs> what can i say uh it kind of does its work within the little amount of time that it is working so wife was able to easily defeat um that that lion type of guy i forgot his name but uh was able to easily defeat him and oh another thing happened that is dragon joe is um trying to get into eden zero um, let's see what happens in in that front because i'm sure like which sister hermit are there they'll probably handle him i think so at least and shiki is obviously engaged in a battle with um kurenai humura is still uh like you know has not gotten her confidence back and she's still but i think this episode will probably she'll come back and she'll fight join the fight and i'm sure she'll most probably she'll be the one to defeat kurenai uh yeah let's see what happens so without further ado let's get started this is episode number 24 of eden zero so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one <clears throat> okay Kuranai Dragoon <laughs> Arsenal Hmm <laughs> <laughs> Arsenal legend. Oh my god, this this section was <laughs> Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't even have any clothes. What is he going to do? What? Oh my god! <laughs> oh no, she doesn't even have that! Oh no! Um, don't say that in front of Vice! <laughs> oh my- Whoa, she, he's using Pino- Oh my god! Don't do that! <laughs> Okay, I don't think that's... Yeah, that's... This is not the time for that. <laughs> oh boy. 
<laughs> oh yeah, she wants. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh boy. Come on, Homura. Oh, okay. That's intro. All right. There's a, uh, there's a lot of characters that we barely even saw. Uh, like we saw them, like but they were just like there for. Uh, couple of episodes like i'm guessing they'll get more screen time later on for example i forgot her name what was her name um amira something like that the girl who does not have a face you know like i think we got to see her for one episode yeah but it seems she is up to something so most probably in the next season you know uh when eden zero has second season we'll probably see her more then and yeah like and a few other characters as well so elsie elsie we kind of saw her at the beginning but then a lot of time has passed we've not even seen her but all right let's oh boy oh yeah i was wondering why oh yeah i was wondering why is he not able to use the, the gravity to Oh. Oh. Okay, that's a interesting way. Yeah, that's a really interesting way he did that. Whoa. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. This is underneath. Wait, it's going to work now. What? Oh, make himself more heavier. Oh, nice. All right, interesting. Very good. Yeah. Ah. All right, Homer is here. Weiss is here, but unfortunately, Weiss can't fight now. No, we want her to beat you up. That's what we want. Yeah, exactly. That's what we want. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Well, wow, this lady, what happened to her? Like, is she okay? Yeah, like, so much negativity. Out of sponge with crab. Oh, wait, then her hand. Oh my god, yeah, then his hand. Oh, yeah, he didn't know that. No, uh, none of the others know as well. Neither hermit. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> what? Oh. All right. Wait, what's happening? Wait, what? Oh no, come on, Nino. Oh. Come on, don't do this. Like, uh, but he didn't realize that. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> so why is why is he actually following her? I wonder. Okay. Oh, damn. Whoa. Oh, yeah, he also has ether. What? Damn. Kenzai ten Nino. Fist of Heaven. Oh, boy. Yeah. Isn't there like Oh, can Pino can Pino do it? Pino, come on. Use your EMP. Soul arm. Oh, maybe she can lure him into the uh door and like you no know, dodge it. And the door will get broken. Damn. Hmm. What? What? Oh my god, damn, that was... Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh, oh, they're the same people. Was that something that uh, Zame did to actually, I don't know, I think so, it, it was probably something Zame did, okay, let's talk about it later on. Oh yeah. Oh. And that's what I was saying. I was saying that didn't Xiaomi know what was going to happen? So why did they not warn him them? But and she kind of said that uh like you know, yeah. 
like everything they have to face like Xiaomi will kind of help them but not directly okay kicking speed oh whoa she's what the hell she unlocked her power what she can rewind time Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, she did rewind time. What the hell? Come on, dodge. Oh. Uh, okay, never mind. Okay, rewind again. Oh. Oh, wait, did she like. Yeah, she, she went back. Okay. Like this is really like Jami can oh my god. <laughs> Rebecca kick come on. Ah! Oh boy. What? Wait, is that like a damn? Is that the name of uh the technique in the anime? I think so. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she she not only can reverse time but she can use her her leg to run fast or what? Okay. Uh new power unlocked. There you go. <laughs> Okay, I think it's kind of different. She's not fast, but probably she's doing something to time. Leap. Okay. I'm guessing technically she's not fast, but she's kind of like, you know, like doing something to the time. That's why she's going fast. Okay, let's see what Jame has to say. Leaper. Yeah, I also kind of wondered because reversing time is a pretty big deal, you know? Power of possibility. Okay, thank you for your explanations, Aume. <laughs> oh boy. I think... Uh... Okay. <clears throat> mm. Oh, did he stole like the inner components? Kind of an interesting way to fight. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. What? Oh my god, this guy. Oh great, he's here again. 
I was wondering where he was. God. Ah. Someone pleads. Oh my god, someone please. Ah, oh God, nobody cares. <sighs> like, I, I, I really hate these type of characters who really can't do anything on their own. Oh, great. Wow. Yeah. <sighs> like, these type of characters who resorts to petty tricks. Like, I have a, a, a different type of respect for characters who can do stuff for their own, even though they're villains. But these type of characters are the worst. Yeah, I hope he learns his... Okay, come on, come on, Homura. Whoa, it's like... It's, yeah, yeah, come on, come on, just... just yeah, okay, just d destroy him. This guy deserves each and everything. Come on. Come on, yes, come on. Just, just. Come on, just. Ugh. Oh yeah, the hand! Oh my god! Oh, I forgot about the whole hand thing. Like, this is, you see, like, like, resorting to trickery. I hate these type of things. Oh my god, I, I... What? Wait, what? Oh. Wait, what did... Is it up? Up on top? Yeah, come on, just, just impale him or whatever. I don't... Yeah, yes, yes! Yes, this is what I wanted to see. Oh my god, infuriating character, this guy. Oh. oh. Piece of trash. Yeah, someone untie him, her. Oh my god, he's still alive. All right. <clears throat> oh boy. Well, that was an infuriating character. <clears throat> uh. 
All right. Okay, so what I was saying, like, you know, like antagonistic characters, there is a lot of characters who are very strong and very powerful. They have their own special techniques and stuff. And they like, you know, like they have like a certain goal, all these characters. These type of characters, even though if, even if they are enemies, like I still have like an ounce of, of respect for them because whatever they are doing, they're doing like, you know, with their own capabilities. Like they had to go through a lot to actually reach the position they are in, you know, the strength that they have gained, all that stuff. In any ways, be it in any ways, like, you know, maybe, maybe there's a character who is like very intelligent, but he, he's an evil character. You know, like he makes machines and stuffs to do things. And even though that is technically not him using his power, you know, but still it is kind of like, you know, his own inventions that he, he like, you know, he's using it to do evil stuff. Like it's still his own power. Like I just took an example like this, you know, like these type of characters or even if like there's like just a character who is plain evil, but he's strong. He has trained a lot and he's immensely strong and, you know, like he's just, okay, that's it. Like these type of characters who does things with their own capabilities and something that I really kind of like, you know, at least have an ounce of respect, even though I don't condone what they're doing. I still have a, res a little bit of respect for them. But these type of characters, the, the character like, uh, I can't remember his name, the guy who got impaled. Um, he, these type of characters who just barely just, you know, like, um, depend on some kind of tool for example he uses his whip to paralyze people and then act tough like uh like you know like as if he's the strongest and like you know he, he just like you know like he, he resorts to trickery and stuff to like act like bigger than he actually is these type of characters and also characters who just talk big and can't do anything these type of characters are the characters that i really hate with passion and it, it kind of like you know it's like a cherry on the top if these characters are actually like you know disgusting people for example this guy like him like you know he is a disgusting character and that's like a cherry on the top like he he resorts to trickery first of all then he like you know like he acts tough when no one is able to do anything and he picks his uh like you know uh, fights like you know like if, if if he sees that yeah like someone is stronger than me he, he'll probably run away like picks his fight and like you know like and uh, have like a very bad type of character like i hate them i completely like like these type of characters are very infuriating and yeah he got what he deserved and i don't know if whether he'll be alive or he'll die after that but anyways i <sighs> like I was going to say that I hope he learns his lessons, but these type of characters actually never do learn a lesson. So if he is somehow alive by the end of like you know this arc, he'll probably try to like you know come back later on and mess with us again. So yeah, but anyways, okay. So this episode, um, okay. First of all, obviously like uh, Shiki is keeping Kurenai at bay and he did a uh, interesting way he, the way he fought he kind of destroyed the ground and used the natural gravity to for you know to for it to affect the dragoon and used his own weight his own gravity to push it down and <clears throat> into the labor district and then he obviously we saw like he like, accelerated his punch and then took it off and obviously that will hurt his hand a lot because it's just he's, he's just punching a hunk of metal with his bare hands with that amount of acceleration so yeah he's still keeping it in bay and then we come to the next part where nino comes and actually wonder why he's working for Kurenai. I kind of wonder about that. I, I'm sure it, it probably is something. Um, what can I say? Maybe he's at her depth or something, you know, something like that. It must be. Otherwise, I don't see him actually willingly going and working for Kurenai. He is not that type of a guy as far as I could ab was able to see. Maybe he has, she, he has some kind of uh, advantage over him 
you know some kind of maybe she's blackmailing him somehow or maybe he he just has some kind of debt to repay to her something like that most probably you know that's why because even though he's working for Korea now we can see that he is usually kind of like a passive character he kind of said that like just like you know stay here quietly and no one will have to get hurt I'll just leave you after that so he's kind of like that you know, like works passively but kind of still does his job in a way so yeah and I doubt he was like you know I doubt even if like you know this went into a full-blown fight I doubt he would hurt Rebecca I doubt that he, he just probably like in like you know like knock her out or something and yeah just wait for the time to pass but thankfully Rebecca was able to counter him and his his uh, ether uh, gear was kind of interesting the uh, what was the name the just say the Kenzaiten Nino Kenzaiten Nino uh, so the cybernetic ether arms kind of interesting you know like <laughs> kind of cool looking you know like four arms muscular arms kind of hovering around <laughs> behind your back <laughs> i don't know anyways so yeah he now here's the thing there's two two things that i need to talk about here first of all is like he punches rebecca and then rebecca starts remembering the whole thing with xiaomi and here's what she says there's like in the when he, when they were with xiaomi the characters that they fought for example that punch like you know that boxer guy the fast uh, moving guy and then obviously like you know that the, the machine guy the robot guy and and you know like um, who's the other one uh the uh, valkyrie valkyrie you know like each and every character who fought there it's very interesting now that i think about it like the matchups were also kind of done in a like completely like this you know for example rebecca had to fight that boxer guy for, and now she's fighting nino uh, similar with shiki and um wise as well so no not wise um wise yeah i think wise fought didn't he yeah yeah he fought so like all these characters so now that means Zame was actually I don't know giving them a hint but without any context that really doesn't like you know seem like a hint register as a hint but now like you know like Rebecca was kind of like I, I never would have like linked that like that was really I have to say intelligent of Rebecca like she actually linked that to this like I never would have thought about it in that way but I guess that kind of acted as a hint for Rebecca who realized what to do you know and he realized she realized that she had to kick you know kick uh the uh, nino and by kick she probably unlocked her ether gear power which is leaper as far as i could say according to xiaomi it's called leaper now what happens here is there's two things that happens here first of all um okay another thing uh it was really kind of really nice of xiaomi as well because uh, she did not say anything but letting valkyrie fight with homura that was probably the last time that uh, like you know homura saw valkyrie alive even though that was like a counterfeit a duplicate still you know um and in a way that was really nice for and that's why like you know like Xiaomi, like you know uh i don't know probably made her fight uh, valkyrie and if you, you can see it in a different way as well uh where we can see that all the characters that these characters are fighting with are somehow related to the fight jame uh, organized for them in the tournament so homura fought valkyrie and now in a way she is obviously she's not going to fight valkyrie here but in a way she's kind of fighting against herself and the whole like you know sadness of valkyrie whole grief of valkyrie dying that is in a way that i i don't know like probably symbolic way you can see this that is she's fighting to win against the sorrow of losing valkyrie that's why you know like she fought with valkyrie uh, like uh, in in the tournament in the jaume tournament so i don't know you can see it in this kind of a symbolic way if you can and also obviously like you know jaume also made give her an opportunity to see valkyrie for the last time for the final time 
before confronting and knowing the truth so yeah and we know that jame will not tell everything directly she will not obviously not do that like you know like she won't say that oh this 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 will happen you know, you know? like that I, I think that's kind of like against the rules or something you know like like just telling uh your future like that directly i think it's probably somehow uh, like you know going to affect the future in a very catastrophic way and you should probably should not do that like you know mess with time like that so that's why she kind of gave hints and in a way it kind of helped uh, rebecca to uh, gain her uh, uh, ether gear now another thing so that's one thing the other thing i want to talk about here is rebecca's ether gear leaper so first of all she reversed time which is very not similar yeah kind of similar to uh Jaume's power i guess Jaume can see the future and rebecca can i don't know go back to the no yeah kind of reverse time go back to the past in a way a little bit you know kind of like a rewind button she can do that so interesting that you know like Jaume can see the future and she can probably reverse time and go to the past for a little bit now as Jaume said that this has a lot more potential to be tapped into so who knows maybe one day will come when we'll probably see that uh, Rebecca is actually going able to go back to the past you know? that can happen because technically what her ether gear did is take her back to the past a little bit so who knows maybe as time goes as it her ether gear develops maybe she'll be able to not like rewind a few seconds but a few minutes then eventually a few days maybe a few months years i don't know I'm, I'm i'm kind of going into a bigger scale here but it might happen and the thing that xiaomi said that it might save the universe yeah that's kind of the universe is like a huge scale so i'm guessing probably her ether gear will improve in such a way that it will like you know gain power which will be enough to save the universe for, like you know like so that's why i'm saying you know maybe in the future she'll be able to reverse time not a few seconds but for a few days few months or something so yeah but anyways um that's her power and so she reversed time and then another thing that she did here is she started accelerating now here's a thing now there's like a difference um between like you know like the, the thing that i i think happened here and the thing that actually like okay let me explain it here she speed sped up suddenly it probably seems like she gained sudden speed sudden power and that's why she started speeding up it kind of seems like that but in my opinion i think it's probably a little different from that technically she did not gain speed but i'm guessing that she kind of uh, was able to slow down time or something something like that that's why she started moving at a very fast speed since her uh, ether gear is related to time i doubt it would have a, another function which would help her boost speed i doubt that so it did not boost her speed but it actually slowed down time that's why she was able to go fast now this is a complete guess that i'm making i might be completely wrong but as i said since her ether gear kind of seems like something that is related to time i think it probably did something like that that is it slow down time and that's why it seemed as if she's going fast whereas she was basically going at, at normal speed so i don't know it might be something like that or it might be just like she gained speed that's like an additional power or something it might be that as well so i'm sure we'll get more explanation probably not in this season but next season but yeah and that is a very very handy power you know it's related to time and anything that is related to time is pretty op so yeah she might be able to like rebecca might like come into the spotlight in the future later on because up until now rebecca was kind of like you know like she only used happy to fight and she herself did not have that much power but now like it seems as if she suddenly gained a very unique strength which will be very uh, beneficial and very needed in the future and it can get a lot op you know like like as i said time you know 
making use of time uh, modifying time or manipulating time that is a pretty sweet and pretty um, strong power but yeah and you know like she used her bell holy kick <laughs> to defeat uh, Nino and uh, yeah that was that okay and then uh, we come to the next scene where and the last scene that is uh, Homura and that guy I, I can't remember his name but yeah and as always he was trash talking and everything and even though uh, the Odin's uh, what was the name of the technique the Odin just a sec Odin strike okay so yeah uh, Homura used that to attack him but unfortunately he was able to get away from that I don't know how <laughs> and you know he kind of used his whip to whip around and destroy the uh, swords but her I, th I think like Homura probably knew that he was probably going to resort to trickery and like tie up her hands or something to stop her from using it so that's why her main goal was to actually somehow dislodge the weapon and it did that and yeah as usual like the guy comes and ties homura's hands up so for that so that she cannot use her um you know ether power but yeah the valkyrie's swords comes and impales him which was one of the most <clears throat> satisfying section of this episode and yeah i hope he never comes back again I hope we don't have to see his face again in the future. It seems she's, he's alive and I think he probably will live. I doubt he'll die. You know, these type of characters are usually a persistent bunch. So, you know, like, they, he probably won't die. And I hope we never get to see him again. I hope so. <clears throat> so... Yeah, and... Homura is okay now kind of she was able to gain back her determination and yeah now in the next you know the next episode which is the final episode we'll probably see homura and shiki versus kurenai and probably uh, i don't know like maybe rebecca will also join in so yeah Okay, is there anything else that I need to say? No. That's it. So yeah, that was it guys. That was my reaction to Eden Zero episode number 24. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed, comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. I'll definitely check them out so yeah that's it guys thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with the final episode of eden zero so until then goodbye and have a nice day